Hello everybody and welcome back to Grower's Farm. So I'm just doing a bit more potato planting. We do have probably 50% of the field left to do, so it is a very slow job. Uh, but we're almost out of potatoes, we do need to go and get uh, some more put into the hopper. So I think we can just about make it to the end of the field here, hopefully. <laughs> it's going to be close, but yeah, it should be fine. And as we're there, we'll put some more fertilizer in as well, but that is fine because I think we already have some there anyway. And yeah, I think really once we've done the potatoes, we can then move on to something else. I know that the wheat field, which we planted in the first episode, does also need to be fertilized. There is still 2% left in there, but yeah, there's not much point in heading back down the field again. Okay, so yeah, we'll just go over to the store and get everything filled up to 100%, and that should be enough to complete the field, hopefully. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Because uh, if anything, I think we're over halfway, but it's very close to halfway. Here we are. So yeah, we do have some uh, liquid fertilizer left. I think there should be enough to fill it up to the top, hopefully. Yep, good, because that's very expensive stuff. And then we have the seed big bags. No, that is chicken feed. <laughs> that would uh, definitely be interesting to see what grows if you go and put chicken feed in. Although it's probably just going to be a very thin wheat field. Because it's not dressed grain or anything. Dressed seed. Okay. So, let's take a look here. Yeah, this is dress seed. We are probably going to have to have, I think was it four or five before, quite a lot of these bags. They don't go very far. So I have actually bought the rebranded uh, JCB telehandler. And we're going to use that in a future episode to load up the silage and sell that over at the BGA. I can't do it yet because the BGA is still work in progress. It's going to be fixed very soon. But yeah, very soon we're going to be able to sell the silage which we have got in the pit. It has fermented and everything. It's all ready to go. So it's just a case of loading the trailers. I might even load a trailer today because I just can't sell it. <laughs> that is the only issue at the moment. But I have been speaking to MJ and he says it's going to be done very soon. So that is all very good news. And uh, yeah, I think really we should just focus on the fields that we've got anyway. I do also have two grass fields which haven't even been touched yet. I've only worked in the two fields which I purchased at the beginning of the series. So yeah, we do have, I think we have two, two grass fields. I don't think they're for the animals. We'll have to take a look. But yes, I'm just going to crack on here in a minute or two. Let's just see here. Yeah, they're not for the animals. They are separate fields, field number 6 and field number 7. The animal fields actually aren't numbered, which makes sense. Because, uh, yeah, you wouldn't... Well, it'd be very easy to get confused. I always think that's a good idea. The numbered fields are the ones with no animals in, so you can just go and do some uh, mowing or something. Anyway, yes, let's get this going. I would say it is a direct 50-50 split. I think we are exactly halfway, which is surprising. Uh, it's actually very handy though. Although maybe I should have put some more potatoes in, not too sure. Might have to refill. Um, it's, it's quite expensive. This hopper is just such a high capacity. And because we are using seed bags for the potatoes, it doesn't go very far at all. Anyway, let's continue. I think we will be taking another trip to the store. Bye. Well, as it turns out, it's actually a really good job I didn't put 100% into the hopper because it would have just been a total waste of potatoes. Uh, having said that, though, I do need to have a little bit more. Uh, I think probably 1,000 litres will be more than enough. Probably 800 litres would be plenty. So, yeah, we'll, we'll put 800 litres in. I don't know if you can empty these things afterwards. I don't think you can do. I'll have to find out later, but... Yeah, if I just don't fill it much in the first place, that will make it much easier to, um, yeah, save some money. 
instead of wasting it because yeah this isn't my potato planter it is leased and it's going to be returned very soon all right so whatever i don't use i can just use in another seeder in another drill it's fine it's just universal seed and somehow it converts from seed to tubers but anyway there you go uh, i think 800 liters like i say is more than enough it'd be too wasteful to put any more in that'll do seven nine eight should very easily finish the field so head back get it completed now it does seem to widen further up here which is leaving a very awkward width um well, i suppose it doesn't matter too much if we do just miss out one row once this is finished, that is the field done. And I haven't gone to the edges for reasons which I explained in the previous episode. It would just be far too difficult to harvest. So this is the best way of doing potatoes. Very good this way. Um, but yeah, when we've done this, I think I will. I'll demonstrate the JCB, which I used at the end of the Peterville Let's Play. Uh, we'll load up the trailer, ready to go for when the uh, BGA is working. And then I think we will just go and take a look at this field over here, the wheat field, because that could really do with spraying or something. Uh, and we do still have a bit of liquid fertiliser left. Now if I can consume all these potatoes, that would be great. That would be very good. Uh, but it's looking unlikely. I suppose I could just, I could just keep going until I have consumed them all, but um, you know, it's still 350 litres left. What I could do is go across here, separate from the rest of the field. I can harvest this just by driving up here with the harvester. First thing I do before I go into the rest of the field, just to really get through these potatoes. Shouldn't be too difficult to do this. Um, yeah, this could work. I went a bit too far out there with that row. But there's just 100 litres left. Nice and easy. Perfect. Okay, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll return this over to the uh, we'll return it to the store. Looks like we're going to have to waste the uh, bit of liquid fertilizer that we have in there. Unfortunately, I don't think you can unload it. Um, it doesn't seem to be like a sprayer. Anyway, I've got to get this sorted out, and then we probably will actually return with a sprayer. Here we are. Yes, I'm accumulating the different things that we have here: seed, pallets, and fertilizer and everything. Uh, that can stay here though, because like I said, we're going to fill the trailer up first. How far will that get us? Eh, pretty good. But we might as well fill it to the top. Fertilizer. Really expensive. £3,200. But then again, yeah, fertilizer is expensive. But that should keep us going for some time. I didn't get the booster tank on the front. I have bought this, it's not leased, so. Uh, yeah, that's all good. We don't really need the booster tank, I don't think, yet, because our fields aren't even that large. So, um, yes, the JCB. I do just have it kept over at the BGA currently. Uh, you probably recognise it from the uh, Peterville Let's Play. I've put the number plate on there. Well, the original uh, person who adapted it did the number plate. I just changed the number plate to a UK style. Uh, but it is actually the Manitou. This is the Manitou with a reskin. And I think it looks pretty good. I know it's not, it isn't the JCB, obviously. But it looks good. It looks very good. Anyway, let's just head back through here and then we can uh, pick up. I think we're going to get that big buyer belt bucket. The, the big bulk bucket designed for bulky light materials such as silage. This is a place I haven't shown off very often. Anyway, I think we go left here. If we go left, it should bring us back to where the store is. Let's just hope the bucket fits to this. I don't think there'll be an issue. I think it, it does work very well. Um, and then uh, it's actually a really big trailer that I've got to load up. So even with this big bulky bucket, it might still take a little while. Anyway, let's just take a look here. Telehandlers, buy belts, lightweight bucket, and oh, you can customize the color. I didn't realize. Um, oh, we could go for a very unique colour. Or we could colour match the JCB, that'd be quite good. Uh, JCB, yes, that looks good. And then we put this one to uh, Onyx, is a, a pretty good colour. We could also do Jet Black. I don't know what it would look like. This would be very interesting to see. Uh, it's always worth doing a bit of modifying. 
I do like the JCB colour. It's very vivid. Okay, yeah, looks good. Very good. So, yeah, thank you to everybody who left some very kind comments in yesterday's video, the first episode on Lone Oak with Chainsaw 100. That series is always going to be multiplayer, just me and Chainsaw. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're hoping to progress quite a bit with it, uh, maybe by a number of fields. We don't really have a, a goal except for, you know, do a lot of farming, <laughs> which is a pretty good goal to go for. Uh, try and afford a lot of land and stuff, because the fields on that map are pretty big. The machinery is, is large. Uh, we're going to replace the combine harvester. I, I think it would be a sensible idea. Uh, I'd prefer to go with a custom modding one, so we're going to go with custom modding's uh, John Deere combine harvester. Very nice machine. I should have gone with it to begin with, actually. But, um, yeah, that's going to be replaced for the next episode. And then I think we are going to be... Well, we've already done the bailing on that map, so... I suppose a bit of cultivation, maybe a bit of drilling is in order. I should have just cut across there. Yeah, we're going to have to get the, uh, the drill out, but we do have two. One of them isn't a direct drill, though. One of them has to be uh, has to be cultivated beforehand. We'll probably do some forestry and stuff. But, yeah, I think it's going to be a good series. Like I say, I've had some really good comments so far. Uh, some people who, I think, watched me fairly regularly said that I was playing much better on, on that Let's Play. Uh, probably because there's two of us, so you can sort of interact more and uh, you don't have to do everything yourself, which is always very handy. Anyway, yeah, here we are. Let's get this trailer taken out of the barn. I think I put it into this shed here on the left-hand side. Yep. I did replace the, uh, the John Deere tractor with this JCB. We have enough tractors. So, there it is. All the silage ready to go. Let's just tab through. So, we've got the case... New Holland, We've got the fence and Vartra. I think that is plenty of machines. It's plenty of tractors. So, for now, I'm just going to use the fence to bring the trailer around, which is fine. But this tractor will not be taking the trailer over to the BGA. It will just be far too heavy. It's a very big trailer. Also, I should probably just switch off the course play mini HUD. There we go. Right. Yeah, decent trailer this. Very decent. It would be interesting to see what this tractor would do if you try to pull the trailer when it's full. Uh, but I don't think it would go down terribly well. I think the trailer would be pushing the tractor out of the way. It must be impossible to actually control. Anyway, it's absolutely fine just to put it here. But yeah, like I said, it's going to take a while to fill. Because that is not a small trailer. Oops. So here we go. Let's get it filled. I forget the capacity of this thing. What is it? It is about 7,900 litres. Whereas the standard bucket, the shovel, I think the uh, the capacity of that is about 2,800 litres. Let's change that. Okay. Oops. Good start. It's going to take a bit of getting used to. And I have bought a new mouse, by the way, for those who are complaining about the clicking. This is still the old mouse. Uh, surprisingly, it's coincided with this mouse going wrong. It doesn't seem to be working correctly anymore. You can't really hold down the left mouse button too well. It seems to work okay in farming simulator. When I'm editing, uh, it doesn't really work too well for dragging and dropping files. For some reason, it tends to let go of it. So there's something wrong with the mouse. It's also quite old now anyway, so decided to replace it and hopefully the newer one is a bit quieter but to be honest the clicking of the mouse doesn't really bother me too much and well when I mentioned it before it turns out that it is just probably less than 10 viewers who have a problem with it as well but when it appears in the comment section a few times uh, it looks like loads of people have a problem with it but yeah it is just a minority okay yeah, it's going to be, I would say, a total of um, six or seven bucket loads. And this pit is quite full. There's quite a lot in here. So I'll continue. Continue getting it filled up. And then we can uh, just put it under cover somewhere. 
And after that, I'll jump into the case and we can get that field sprayed. And then we should have a very productive wheat crop. And then once that's ready to go, we can harvest it and bale it. Or we could do whole crop, which is always an alternative. I think this is the final bucket load, and it's made quite an impact on the amount of silage we have left in there. So yeah, yeah it's uh, definitely the way to go. Nice big bucket, big trailer. It's not even down the road really, the BGA. It's further than you think. You've got to go all the way north to then go east and then you go south. So yeah, it's quite a long way. Uh, it's not the final bucket load though. There is space for a little bit more. Can't believe there's too much space left. This has got to be it. We'll try and put it in the middle. There we go. Yeah, just 10% of the bucket actually fits into there. So, let's now put that back where it came from, under cover. And we can see what the actual capacity is. It's 56,000 litres. And, oh yes, we are going to have to manoeuvre it with this tractor. Seems to be fine. Hmm. It's definitely out of scale, but it doesn't seem to be worried about the amount of weight. Right, let's see if I can get this into the barn in the with the first attempt. I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'm going to have to maneuver. But um, yeah, if I can just do this without slowing down or stopping, that'd be quite interesting. Well, I might have to slow down actually. Yes, we're going to have to slow down. Get it in the shed though. Ah, oh, yes, it's just too much of an angle to approach at. We'll try again. Maybe this time. It does help though having steering axles on the trailer. Very good. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't have to be neat, it just has to be in here. Put it there undercover. Ready to go when the BGA is open. It's currently closed. Uh, okay, so finally we have the case which is all nice and full of fertilizer. And we have a field which is wanting fertilizer. So two go together well. I'm really looking forward to the potato harvest because well, as I explained before we're going to use the 9 meter harvester and it's not even going to take too long to do but what it is going to take is a lot of carting. It's going to be so much carting as with the root crops with sugar beet and potatoes you get so much of it. Obviously it fills up the trails very quickly so I do need to think of a method of when it comes to carting the potatoes. I think maybe if I do it with a lorry with a big capacity, with a very high capacity trailer, that might be the best way of doing it. Oh no, I'm going to have to turn off crop destruction. Because this tractor is not really <laughs> suitable for this field, uh, for this job. It's um, for a slightly smaller tractor, I'd say, with row crops, although this tractor might be able to have row crops. Right, okay, there we go. Yep, so that's definitely working. I think we do have the two applications required, so yep, this should bring it to 100%. We don't have the lime requirement on, and I don't think we have the periodic plowing requirement on. That's all for the survival roleplay, which will be returning on Saturday. Yes, I must just make that very clear. Saturday this week, not Friday. It's going to be Saturday and Sunday, then the following week, and hopefully every week after that, it'll be Friday to Sunday again. Uh, it's just this week where it will not be on Friday. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It wasn't possible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control. When they found out we ran from home. Right then, so that is the field fertilised, and yeah, I think that's going to put it to 
100% productivity. Let's just take a look. Do we have the field data? I might have turned off actually. Yeah, let's just see. Field info on. There we go. Uh, wheat growing, fertilizer 100%. Fantastic. That is great. So, um, well, obviously that's just this area, but the whole field should be the same. Yep. There we go. So, all we have to do is wait for it to ripen, and then we can harvest it. I think we probably are going to do it with the combine harvester. But I, I do like the idea of doing whole crop. Let me know. Let me know down below what you think we should do. Uh, I think if we were to do whole crop, though, we might have to get a bigger forager. We could use the current forager. I suppose we are very close to the yard, so carting isn't really an issue for time. Uh, I don't know. All I do know is when the class DLC is out, October the 22nd, we are going to be using the, the new class Jaguar which I really do look forward to. Put this in here. Yes, I did take a look first to see if we did own a sprayer. I don't think we do. Pretty sure we don't. So, yeah, I don't think I've wasted my money there. That's what I tend to do. Anyway, yes, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.